All right, guys. We just finished building Lars Pixel Collider Jr. We haven't played any games on it, though, which is a problem. So I've devised four competitive challenges for us to sort of break in the system today. Uh, we're going to play two-on-two -two Octodad, like a time trial. We're going to play Video Ball. Uh, and somebody's going to play Counter-Strike against me, but I'm going to be using a controller because I'm so good, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to beat me. And cocky. Yeah, well... Uh, we'll also end up playing, let's see, the Grand Theft Auto 4 Carmageddon mod. You know, like, the cars have no friction, they're just trying to kill everybody. So we'll do, like, a survival mode, time trial thing. So, sound good? Yeah, uh, is Corey gonna play with us? Oh, Corey's, uh, back. You know, he's doing work. It's fine. Alright. Hey, Tim, could you stop playing Hearthstone, maybe? Sorry, for a moment I thought you said something about other games. If you see something shining in your view. Yeah, we're, we're not going to play Hearthstone, we're going to play some other PC games, you know? Dude, I need you on my team. Why? But, so no, no more no. of this? Cut it. No, sorry. Alright, so, so Octodad, Tyler, me, versus Wes, Tim. So we're, we're taking turns here, right? Like, you yeah. guys are going to make a run through and then... We're gonna play and be better. Than You're gonna try it and beat our time, basically. I get to play the legs as an octopus. Who is the better octopus? That's really the question. Here. I think it should be half bodies, not legs and arms. You should each have to control one leg. Well, one that's arm. fine. That's I th fine. I thought we were gonna be the right side of them, and they were gonna be the left, and we were gonna compete to tear them apart, tear the octopus <laughs> a twang. Here we go, Tyler. So, I think we just need to complete the first two uh, objectives here. We need to get to the kitchen. I'm on the light blue. I think. I think I, I am. I, Okay, oh, I don't so know. use the triggers. Use the triggers, yes. The tr oh, the triggers. Oh, now I can. Can you drop the panning, maybe? Okay, good. Good. Okay, good. yeah. Good. So wait, I'm... Oh. Get, get your leg in, get your leg in the door. I'm trying, but it's not doing anything. You gotta study you go. what they're doing. Yeah. So we can not do better than that. Okay. Really so sure. The key here is not knocking over all of the kids' stuff. In terms of the Octodad cannon, why aren't his kids half octopus? It remains a mystery. It's kind of a... Scientific marvel. Okay. Fairly certain We're almost there. Almost there. The Get to the kitchen. Thing. Get to the kitchen. Uh, Get to the kitchen. Move the leg. <laughs> yes. Good. Great. <laughs> because the leg just seems to be moving. Sweep the leg. On Sweep the leg. <laughs> okay, so we need to make some coffee here. Uh, uh, that's, that should be easy. So over here, we need to like, we need to fill in the water. So <laughs> let's pick up the. Okay. Well, you almost had it there. Okay, got it. Okay, so we need to get some water over here. Oh, oh god, that's that's our what? No way could an octopus drink coffee. It'd burn right through his fleshy <laughs> sacks. Actually, did we just put it on the? I think we just put it on. Also, the, I don't think any white would tolerate yeah, being okay. slapped. Yeah, that's great. Beautiful oh, water. Okay, let me hit the button. I think it's actually a, a brutal treatise on domestic violence in the octopus human uh, hey, community. It's, it's a pretty dark game. I think yeah. I think Evan's side, which is the blue side, is doing everything here. I don't know. I actually don't know how to make coffee. Period. I, so, yeah. Tyler's side's had an octopus. problem. <laughs> Tyler's side's had an octopus stroke. Yeah. I think we need to put it in there. <laughs> it's completely limp. Oh, we have to put the yeah, coffee just in there. Spill okay, all man. that coffee. This is great. Here, here comes my arm. It's it's over. Oh, it's, God. I'm sneaking down there to get it. Do we just have to make coffee? Is that the end game? So I think oh, we're I think playing we in the top. first two objectives, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. and okay, well, the first one was just Great. get to the get kitchen. The so okay, they accomplished the... that. Yeah. Oh, they made some coffee. Hey, look at that. Okay, it's dripping. That's good. That's good. That's good. Are, are you cutting <laughs> it there? Or are we going to? So is do... this sort of like a polyamorous relationship now that we're? Like, I guess we're going to do three objectives. We both have the wife. Oh. Ooh. I don't know. I haven't thought. So we're going to need a cup. We should get a cup. Where's the cups? Uh. Are they up here? I think they're up here. Just. Can we need to bring her milk? I think the, the orange things are cups. Oh, this yeah, is the same. fridge open. Is that milk? There's the milk. Kind of looks like orange juice. How are you so good at this, Evan? Octopus and cartoon lady <laughs> living living together. This is against God. Yeah, just, just pour the milk all over her. It's, it's, it's fine. What you can't see out the window is the the furious protesters <laughs> campaigning against okay, this, so this blasphemy that's going on in this household. She clearly has the milk now. It's draining into the sink. Is that the milk, though? Yeah, that has to have been enough in the freezer. That would be that's ham. That's surprising. like beer. There's some turkey in okay, there. So let's like try and more gingerly provide this to her. Is that good? No? She seems mad. She's really annoyed now. This isn't going well, Tyler. I'm sorry, I'm just disco. Just a reminder. That's not helping. Where's the milk? I, I thought that was the milk. Put him in the oven, end this charade. Why is there a fish in the <laughs> oven? <laughs> 
I mean, this, this <laughs> that's, that's obviously milk. Do you need to cook the milk? It looks like chocolate. Oh no, milk. we're supposed to bring it to our kid. Why isn't the milk pooling oh, on the floor? Stacey's the LPC's the exposing the oh, no. limitations of our. So we don't even know the names of our own children. So as long as we can we're handle the controls, which we almost certainly won't be able to, <laughs> Let's go. given go. that go. I don't go. know what go. they are, go. but we go. know. Go. I got my. We now know the objectives from observing them, so we have. Pretty big advantage. She needs the milk. <laughs> oh, Stacy's the child. Okay, yeah. like child. Okay. Out a lot of yeah. <laughs> it's it's Two minutes so fucking around I, I, with that milk I, in the kitchen. I think we completed that in like probably. That was three forty. That was like three forty-five. It was like thirty seconds. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, I, was I timed you. It was three forty-five. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, forty-five seconds. Three minutes and, and three forty-five milliseconds. seconds. Okay. Let's let's see how well you can so, do. So, so Wes luck. is going to be the blue half. And Tim is the red, and you guys are have to hit the triggers to. It's just left and right trigger, right? No, well, what is it? Is it sticks? It's... As far as I can tell, the stick just moves your arm without any. I can't even tell if I was controlling. All right, it, to so be right stick is moving my arm. I'm blue. And, and does, gets... does the triggers right trigger your socket? Right trigger moves your a, a. right trigger moves your foot in the direction yeah. that you're you're controlling. All right, so we need kind of a rhythm with the way we move our legs. So like, I'm kind of dragging. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's okay. We didn't. We didn't need wow, any of that stuff. Oh, we're That's... stuck on the. There we go. All right. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get back in that living room now. Oh, be tough. That, that table is gonna be a problem. I think you're hoping right. somebody's holding on to it. There you go. All right. We just gotta make some coffee now. So we need to put the coffee pot. You say that like we aren't coffee in, maker. Like we aren't in an elastic. Move your damn leg, Tim. Move your damn leg. All right. All right. Now we gotta grab it. Oh. Got it. <laughs> oh, almost. Yeah, nailed it. All right, now the coffee. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that either. Coffee. Uh, I'm not quite sure that that did it. You dropped it. Come on, coffee. Yeah. God, right. why is this right there? Screw that coffee. Hey, I, I did it. Now what? Uh, press Milk the in the fridge. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, you... Screw that chair. All right, walk over here. Uh, door handle open. Well, no. it's not really fair that you watched our entire run. Shut up, Tyler. <laughs> oh, boo hey. <laughs> You've basically had a practice run through us. Tim wasn't paying attention. He was still thinking about Hearthstone. When do we play our uh, legendary uh, spice? Okay. Is it now? <laughs> now we just got to get to the door. <laughs> when do we give them oh. the money? Oh, oh, there's the a, fire. Move that, fire leg, move that leg. There's a zoo deck in the uh, living Don't room. Don't make me drag that leg, Tim. Come on. Paul, <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> the leg's stuck. Use the, use the right stick. Move it forward in the trigger. I'm not gonna. I'm pressing all of the buttons. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on, Stacy. Get some milk. Yeah. In the cup. Owned. Oh, that was clumsy. What was our time? <laughs> it was. Like, like two, a and a two and a half. Aesthetically, not strong. Two and a half. But temporarily strong. I mean, he's an octopus, so yeah. we did the best we could. Right. Well, I guess I guess we have to buy you guys a mug now that says you're the world's best octodad. All right, so this is Video Ball. It's uh, still in development, a game from Tim Rogers. It's like a, his, his electronic sport. It's very much like soccer or some kind of minimalist sports game, uh, kind of taken down to the most abstract form where your, your characters, your ships are just little triangles and the ball is a circle and you can build uh, little blockades that are squares, at least the last time I played it. Uh, it was like that, so it's, it's not out yet, they're still working on it. UI is super rough, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and play around. Uh, I'm not sure who is player one. Yeah, change the map, it's not me, I don't know. Uh, I, think it's, it's me. I think ridiculously it's me. It's probably Tim. Oh, great. Um, so the first, yes, yeah, so go ahead and continue. I've selected basic. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the first couple maps, I think, are the only ones that are, are finished right now. So, oh, button to chop, which button? A button? It should be A. A button. Yeah. So Let's we're see. trying to get the ball into the goal, which is something, Tim, you should be familiar yeah. with. So we all put our names in. I uh, feel like there's a sport kind of... Oh. oh, so you can shoot each other, and that's oh, that's not good for for your team. So don't do that, but... Wait, is got... touching the ball bad? Yeah, you don't want to touch the ball, you only want to shoot it. You want and, to shoot it toward the... And you can shoot opposite. your you can shoot your teammate, uh, which is bad, but you can shoot enemies, which is good. Uh, so there are three... Three kind of charge levels. Ah, uh, Wes, was that you? Um, nope, it was Tim. No. And the no. the more you charge up your shot, the better it's, it is. Good job, Tim. I thought we were shooting the other way. Oh wait, 
Uh, Evan, are you on my team? Yes, I am. Okay, good job, Evan. <laughs> Tyler, uh, are we on the same team? I think we are somehow. How did that happen? Wow. Well, I'll take it. So if you charge your shot for too long, it turns into a square, which you can use defensively. Bam. What? So the, the key to the game really is the timing between that second and third charge level. And there's lots of momentum at play, so if you hit a ball with a charge up shot and then somebody else hits it charged up right after that, it'll transfer that momentum I think back. you and Evan have been practicing and uh, this has been rigged. <laughs> I haven't played this game in months. Yeah, I believe you, sure. Oh, that's close. Let's get it. Got it. Oh, God. oh come on. I had a square on accident. I'm concentrating a lot. Stop talking to me, Wes. You say that you're the Michael Jordan of video ball, Wes? I wouldn't go that far. Uh, Magic Johnson, perhaps. Larry Bird. I would go with the Larry Bird. That's good. What are we playing to, by Let's the way? Let's just focus it's on ten. shooting. A million. Man. Oh, that's easy. There's nine. There's nine for you. Ten's, yeah. ten's coming right up. Oh, yeah, I hit, oh, oh, you hit me. Oh, nice. It's okay. You blocked it. You blocked it. Oh, I ran into the ball. Oh, 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 jeez! For the follow-up. No, oh, that didn't work. Good shot. Get out of here. Yeah, this game's a lot about it's just timing and momentum. Ah. Game. Mm. All right. I think we need a rematch. Yeah, yeah one more. We weren't supposed to be teammates, but it's fine. We're right, a strong Tim. team. It's considered bad form to cheat at the other team oh. about misplaced shooting. I think that's me. a good, good strategy. Stop it. Get out of here, Tyler. You're supposed to build a wall. No. It's Trash talk is allowed. I'm, a, I'm an offensive goalie. <laughs> That's a thing. Oh boy. Well, they're all over me. No. Don't get yes. Don't get West. Oh, oh. So we gotta break their gotta break their blocks over here. Oh, we got two in two lined up. There's one. Oh, it's almost. Oh, oh yeah, get it. Here we go. Yeah. Tim, where oh are no, you? the block was in the way. Nice. Yes. Oh. Come on. Yes. How can the block, block be there? I there decided to camp the um ball spawn point. Oh. Okay, no. That was clever. Oh god. And that's yes. why. Oh. That's why, Tyler. <laughs> that's that's how you do it. Okay, wait. Smart. So the ball can't get in our goal if I just fill it with blocks. So here we go. Incoming. Oh, I got this. Ball in the hole. I got this. Oh. No, I don't got that. I, I hate like it. all offense. And you just shot me. We are all offense, or yeah, we are. Yes. Oh no. That's a shot, though, isn't it? That that was my shot. Oh wow. That, that was mine. Ugh. Let's just say it was our wait, shot. Wait, did the ball not score over there? No, so. it didn't. Ugh, because I hit my... Oh, whoops. No. Oh, Amazing. Okay, so it has to hit the back wall. Block defense. It is a great local game, for sure. And, yeah. you know, they built uh, online multiplayer into it. And hopefully, you know, the latency will yeah, be that's minimal it. enough that it's completely playable. But I am really curious what, you know, how the experience changes nice. with the people spread out versus Get out. Get together. Out. Dunk. Dunk. Oh, what a save, Tyler. <laughs> Throwing his body at it now. His little triangle body. Ah, that guy just nice hit score. it. In. Goes, oh man. Oops, I that one's just squared. like waiting to score. Why can't I run it out of the way? It's nonsense. You, you can't touch it. Yeah, touching Not the balls to just hurts you. Well, I, sh I was shooting as I touched it. You probably didn't release in time. Many Do times it. I've heard that. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's inappropriate. <laughs> I got this game you guys are really gonna like called FIFA if you're into this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I only, think so. I only like popular. it when the players are triangles, That's personally. Yeah, Alright, we just need one more Wes. I think we got we that. We can stall them out easily. here at 92 forever, Tyler. <laughs> yes! <laughs> It'll never end. No! Oh, oh, what is that? Look at nice. that! Nice. Bam. Excellent. Game. Game over. Yeah. Well, so. It's the thumbs it was cool down. of you. It's the thumbs down from me. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool that you guys stayed up all night practicing. But, I'm glad um, I could bring this game to did. you and then serve it to you on a silver platter of whoop ass. I think one of Todd or I should review it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll play around after we're done. Maybe you guys will be better at the next challenge. <laughs> yeah, which is trying to defeat me, Counter Strike Master. 530 mm. hours of Counter Strike played competitively. What's your rank again? Uh, Super Eagle, Chalupa, Guardian. I don't think that's it. I think we need to tear this team asunder. I think Wes should that's have good. to play him. He plays much zoo in Counter-Strike these days. <laughs> There's almost no zoo in Counter-Strike, weirdly. That's, that's disappointing. Very few animals. I haven't played a Counter-Strike since Counter-Strike Source. So, when was the last time you played Counter-Strike? 
shooting this show. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, forty-five Stuart, years ago, you were ago. really good in the last episode of Counter Strike. All right. So I think it'd be interesting. You should go play. Right, I'll play. You should go play on big LPC. You know, LPC one, yes. Mark one, with a mouse and keyboard, which is the only proper way to play Counter Strike. The only. But I'm going to play here with a controller. I'm so sorry for you. All right. Well, maybe best man win. Yeah, we'll see. Good luck. Best controller setup win. I'm so excited to watch this. Are you just going to play Hearthstone? Yeah. I'm so excited for this match. I've played like 500 and something hours of Counter-Strike and none of it has been with a controller. All right, so it's time to play Evan. He's foolishly using... Oh, I don't even know the controls. Oh, there we go. What you need to do is channel your golden eye instincts from being 12 years old. I don't even know, okay, okay, B's reload, why not X, I don't know. I'm gonna strafe a lot since he's obviously gonna have a lot of trouble aiming. It seems to be working out for me. He was so cocky. He's gonna be strafing better than you, he's gonna headshot better than you. You have to use strategy. He's smarter than Tyler. I'm so close to dead, like one shot will kill me on this pistol round. I can climb. Oh, yes! Oh. That's one, that's one. One in the gut. Let's see what I can do with a shotgun here. That might work out. Just get close and blow him away. This what is doing. happening? I don't even know how to use the scope. I had him right in my freaking sight. The shotgun, does the headshot matter as much? Oh, it definitely does, yeah. You snot, you snot his upper thigh then. Yeah, that, that had to at least. Oh, I think he's sniping. That's super bad for See, me. See, now he knows I'm sniping his... Oh, he went to the right yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. He's still oh laying. This is so oh. bad. Keep it level. Ha ha ha! I'm dancing, dancing on his corpse. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Oh, there's a 180 turn button? Oh, that's terrible. All right, so I gotta get close enough to Tyler without him opping me. You can't hide from me, Evan. I have a mouse. Do you have filthy analog stick? He's looking over there. I don't know how to switch the knife though. Get him. Get him. Gotta get really get him, close. Get him. I gotta get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> he doesn't know. Get him. Does get he him. Have... He's gonna turn around. Oh no. You blew it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's really. Dance on the boxes. All right. So there's a grenade. Nice throwing grenades. Oh no. Did it go off? Smoke. I don't even know. Yes. Ah. <laughs> so what would you, would you be doing differently if you had a, a mouse other than you know, not dying as much? I wouldn't be turning it like two inches per second or whatever it is. Yeah, I'd be able to look behind me, I think. He's hating this. He has to, right? Yeah. All right. Winner, eight. Eight to five, though, I gotta give it to him. You're the mouse that roared. The mouse, the mouse that scored. I'm out. <laughs> Bye, Evan. Enjoy your video game. Yeah, have fun. Okay, so we're gonna be playing Armour 3's Zeus mode, which is free multiplayer DLC for Bohemia's military sim. One player plays as Zeus and creates challenges for other players on the fly, calls down lightning, that sort of thing. Andy is going to be playing Zeus. Can yeah. you explain a bit how Zeus works out? Yeah, well, I'm going to be hovering above uh, the map um, using a version of Armour 3's editor. I'm going to be making missions, I'm going to be dropping in animals, I'm going to be calling in furious lightning strikes, and you're going to be cowering beneath my, my fury. Okay, great. Will you be killing us at all? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. Let's see how we got on. Okay, so we're joined also by Tom Senior here as we go through our Armour 3 Zeus playthrough. Hello. So, Andy, what's going on here? Well, this is me setting up the first mission. Um, so what I did was I set a spawn point outside Thronos, which is like the highest peak on Altus, uh, the island that Armour 3 is set on. And so the mission is going to be, um, I'm building a base here, like a prefab base, and your goal is to go up the, up the mountain and take the castle back, in which I've placed a bunch of enemy soldiers. So... <laughs> Uh, what happened there was I was running up to you guys, possessing civilians and running up to you just to sort of mess with you. And of course, Ben shot me instantly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, you're all too scared to shoot me again now because I, I called down a bolt of lightning as a, 
to express my fury at killing the civilian. It's, so. In Zeus, it's really hard to know how to react to NPCs because you <laughs> yeah. don't know if Zeus is trying to kill you or, yeah. or what. You know? What I did was there, I killed the NPC because I can kill any character and I just made him fall in front of you in a pile of, of bloody bones and stuff. That's quite funny. Yeah. That's me just exerting my, uh, my power. So the smoking thing there, you put that there, right? The smoking yeah, vehicle? I, I, I set these smoking wrecks here just to add atmosphere and sort of guide you right towards the objective. That's my little my little Zeus trick. Um, immediately started shelling the place to make, you know, not actually trying to kill you, but just to create the sound of war, although I did actually shell you all at the start. <laughs> so anyway, this is the second attempt. You finally made it up to the castle. Yeah. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm, uh, I'm setting music here to increase the tension, and I was periodically... Possessing enemies. Yeah, this castle is a really kind of cool set piece as well. Like um, you can see us kind of like not really knowing how to react to because we didn't know when the enemies were going to turn up. This is the first time when we see enemies, um, so you can see us just kind of like scrambling, uh, working out how to how to deal with this. And uh, Andy, you were you're kind of like possessing different yeah. characters. As, as you can on. see there, I just jumped into the head of one of the soldiers. Um, but you eventually took the castle because yeah. uh, there was only like three guys there. Um, so the next objective was to drive away from the castle down the side of a mountain, um, but of course I was going to set an ambush. Yeah. Um, as you can see here, I'm littering the, the the road with dead bodies to try and psych you out. But I don't think you really understood what was happening. You were like, "Why is the dead bodies everywhere?" The smoke is very kind of like yeah. intimidating though. When you're driving in a vehicle and you go across the horizon, you see that going on. It's pretty scary. And what happened there was I'd set a bunch of mines on the road. And as um, Phil was driving towards it in his jeep, I manually detonated them. But amazingly, at the last second, he swerved and avoided the six mines I placed. Um, and I thought, oh, that was an amazing bit of reaction. But he was actually just looking at his map <laughs> <laughs> and had swerved off the road at just the, the right nanosecond. If you go back and watch that, you'll see that it was just fractions of an inch between him and, and miney death. Yeah. So um, what's yeah. going on here then? We have the next mission. Um, I, I took you all over to this island here, which has a kind of Stonehenge thing on it. Uh, I set it to night time, put a bunch of chem lights to sort of, you know, give you some light. And the goal is to uh, get on these three boats I'm about to place uh, across the water, up the hill, and take the lighthouse. Um, I think this was one of the hardest ones I set for you guys. As uh, Andy's setting these challenges, it's really uh, scary actually, just to kind of like see these kind of like flares going off in the distance and then actually having to get over there and strategically take out the enemies on the hill is yeah. really tough. And Especially the lighting is really nice, yeah. Mm. This one felt the most like a Tom Clancy, I was in a Tom Clancy book. So <laughs> uh, you had the night vision on and it's kind of looking around at everyone else in the boats and you're kind of storming up the hill and trying to communicate and then you do that. Yeah, I destroyed <laughs> the lighthouse with uh, with lightning. Yeah, uh, just, yeah just to just to terrify you guys <laughs> and uh, this was you really did struggle here I, I was possessing guards a few times um, but you but you did it and so I, I once again transported you to another part of the map um, I give you quad bikes and let you drive to the next objective and uh, as you were going I was dropping artillery and spawning boats <laughs> and stuff that was my little treat for you having survived that previous mission you see in this footage I'm miles behind <laughs> I am miles behind yeah so yeah that was um you know, that was a little bit of fun, but of course the, the nightmare was to resume as you entered this town. Um, I had set the weather, I, I made it foggy, um, just to make it a bit more uh, atmospheric. Um, I added a defend mission here, so I'm going to be sending in enemies and your, your job was to defend it. Um, so you see the weather's changed, I made it a bit foggy. But what I started doing here is while you were uh, hidden, I was shelling the buildings uh, and they were like crumbling around you so I was turning the town into like a war zone and I thought that was I was really purposefully aiming away from you with the shells just to make you guys think that you know stuff was about to go down I'm prone in a building during this because it's terrifying <laughs> because I mean there are men just flying, falling from the sky yeah, and there are just explosions going everywhere and in the midst yeah. of that I you, you, I I only feel the instinct to hide when I see this <laughs> coming from the sky. Yeah, I was sending ground troops in and I was sending in uh, paratroopers, which is really easy to do in the edit. You just pick the soldiers up and drop them and they float in on parachutes. There's a, a ring here, a blue ring people will be noticing, which is your, uh, you can control things outside of that area, yeah. is, that, is that right? Yeah, I can't place anything inside that circle, so it's to stop me dropping tanks on your heads or whatever. So I can, if I want to send enemies in, I have to have them coming in from the outside. Um, so that was, you know, you survived the siege pretty much, but it was pretty hairy yeah. towards the end. And this was the finale, so I had to come up with something big 
uh, I was thinking, sort of thinking of it like a cam an FPS campaign. You know, I was making a gradual increase in excitement and difficulty. Yeah. Um, it's a really fun, it's like real-time game design. It's incredibly fun to just, like, definitely have a go on it. Um, it's, it makes the armor editor a lot more accessible. So, um, there was this island here with a land bridge. Uh, so I thought they have to defend the island. So I littered it with with ammo and, and helicopters and tanks and supplies. And then I just basically sent hordes of enemies in. <laughs> you yeah. can change the uh, kind of um, post-processing. Yeah, so if you see it's sort of gritty. And, yeah, yeah I, you can you can add filters. It's amazing. You can add like a sepia filter to, to make it look, it instantly looks more. Band of Brothers. Because, yeah, because, Band of Brothers, yeah. Because Andy's the one in charge here, he's made the sky really kind of grim. So yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> so it's a, a real feeling of finality is like, you know, all this, all these enemies come towards us, yeah. and that was you, you guys did pretty well on it. But then I just sort of, I went a bit crazy, and, and yeah, look, I, I sent in like <laughs> all, those, <laughs> all those paratroopers, and you know, like one soldier in armor can cause you a headache. So I, I think I made it too difficult. I realized that it had gotten out of control, <laughs> but you, you, you guys lasted out pretty well until um, everyone was dead. Well, at the end, I tried to kill everyone with lightning, but Chris escaped, and so I possessed a guard, and we had a, a last stand, me versus Chris until I got bored and just shot him with a lightning bolt as well. Yeah, it's really kind of like an exciting showcase of how, you know, kind of interesting the, the, the kind of anecdotes you can generate in Armour 3, you know, are, because Andy here made just loads of set pieces on the fly and they're all really effective and really exciting. And yeah, there was a real sense of pacing to the kind of like curve of sort of stuff you were giving us, you know. So that was our playthrough of Armour's use. Uh, we hope you enjoyed watching us die again and again and again. So, so playing you know playing these games with the guys in front of the TV sounds kind of obvious, but like I kind of miss the experience of spec having people spectate you know what I'm playing. I feel like you know think about the popularity of live streaming and Twitch for PC gamers. I think that's sort of an expression of PC gamers want that social experience. They want to be watched. They want to have like people talking to them and and you know ask, you know telling them what to do, giving yeah. them feedback. Like, and that's definitely something I missed out on just sort of being in my desk in my living room, whatever. Like, yeah, when I'm feeling uninterested in playing a game, I just decide to live stream something. And I immediately am way more engaged, even if there's three people watching, like it is in my living room. Even just to see a chat feed with two or three people going, uh, you know, point, talking about what I'm doing or making fun of me, it's, it's, it feels infinitely more fun. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy to think that that used to be just a given when you were playing games, like you would it would be something you'd do with friends, right? You'd go to a friend's house or have friends over, and the only way you could really play games together was together, right? Like, maybe you took a laptop over there and you had, a, like, a little LAN set up, but you were still playing in the same room, playing together. And as the internet has gotten fast enough to just support online games, like, we lost the need to do that, and then eventually lost that as, like, a real focus for game design, at least on the PC. Do you, do you think the arrival of smaller form, powerful PCs like LPC Junior and other Steam machines is going to change that then culturally? Do you see a flood of PCs back into the living room actually happening? It's been talked about for a while. Definitely not immediately. I mean, it's not going to be some sudden impact, right? I mean, that's not, that's not what we're expecting. Um, I mean, people have been able to build PCs in the living room for a long time. It hasn't really happened. This is going to encourage that, but... I don't know. I, I, think, I think it's going to happen maybe more than we're expecting when you take the combination of the Steam Machine Initiative, Steam Big Picture being pretty usable for a lot of games. There, there are issues with it. We spent like half an hour trying to get this controller to work with Counter-Strike. Yeah. It yeah. was an ordeal. Yeah, we had to Google some console commands, which is fine, but like, it just didn't work by itself. You know? And that's not what you, that's not the experience you want yeah. in the living room. But I feel like between you know, stuff like Steam OS support, all of that coming to Steam. We're also seeing games being made for the PC to take advantage of that, right? Games like Video Ball and Samurai Gun, Towerfall, you know, even though that was originally on the Ouya and, and on the consoles, those games are showing up on the PC and there was, I don't know, like a 10 year period or at least where nobody was making games like that on the I th PC. I think funny enough for someone like who's a bit of a graphics whore like me as well, the, the, the impetus will be to get a, a powerful machine like LPC Genius so that I can see things on a huge screen that, that even the current or now gen consoles aren't capable of doing. So 
So kind of not so much the games we're playing today, but some of that real AAA stuff. Like when The Witcher comes up, I want to see that on a 50-inch plasma maybe rather than yeah. right up against the desktop monitor perhaps. And the, the experience I've had so far with in-home streaming has really convinced me that that's going to work and be a fairly affordable solution if you already have a PC, right? You're going to have to build an expensive gaming PC to play a game like The Witcher anyway. But if you have that and then you have something much lower powered in your living room, it looks really good, and from the testing I've done, a lot of the games I've played have minimal lag. They look, you know, they look like they're running at 1080p, and some games run better than others, but for the most part, it works, and you can play those kind of games that you would think you would have to play on your gaming PC on a monitor. You can play those on a TV, and it, it works, and it's pretty or you, awesome. Or you can just live somewhere which has only got one room, which is what I'm planning to do. That works too, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I'm just you know kind of in the same way. I'm really looking forward to just sort of sharing my experience of playing Arma with the people I live with. You know, like my girlfriend Wes, we live together. Like for you to like walk into our living room while you're making a sandwich or something and be like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, like, that happens oh, let me show you. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like I don't know. It doesn't happen. Like I don't pull you in my room and say, hey, look at this mission I'm on. It's, it just sort of opens up PC gaming as a more social experience uh, with with the people that you're sharing a space with. I'm excited about that. I uh, don't want to do the Counter-Strike thing. Yeah, no. Not with a controller. Never again. So you may have seen this on YouTube over a number of years. It looks like a nice day in Liberty City. It's actually a pretty easy thing to download and implement. Uh, if, oh. <laughs> you just have to change some INI files, basically. And you unleash Carmageddon. Exactly. So all oh. the cars here have zero friction. That one seems like it's doing okay. That one, actually, yeah, seems fine. <laughs> So let's take a pause from the chaos and determine where we want to end up here. So we're starting at the south part of the starting island. We're at the very beginning of the game here in the safe the, house. Uh, North Beach? So let's see if we here. can make it all the way to this dock. It's very ambitious. Right. But whoever can get there alive and in the fastest time. It's already plotted a GPS route so here for me. I may or may not follow it. I'm going to time us. You're the expert, Evan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks bad. It looks bad, Tyler. <laughs> it's bad already. This is a dream I had. Imagine how much better the Mark Wahlberg film The Happening would have been if they'd been beset <laughs> by frictionless cars rather than plants. <laughs> oh, okay, so would have been a better movie. What's tough here is I can't even get what's in the car. If I, oh, 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 the car turned on you. That was a poor choice. <laughs> Call your cousin up. You want to go bowling in the car, Nado? <laughs> Crazy. I think I'm is this here. what would happen if friction didn't exist? Cars would just immediately start launching themselves through the air. Well, I don't know a lot about science, but I'm going to say yes. <laughs> oh man, this looks like... Oh god. I don't want to be here. Oh god, what was that? Was that a motorcycle? Oh god. There's some was bad stuff happening up here. Alright, should I take the park here? I don't know. We're getting pretty close. Yeah. Is there vision based on movement? Yeah. Oh man, it looks properly bad up there. I'm going to head right at it. Transfer truck. Oh, Come on, big truck. God. Take him out. Oh, <laughs> oh get out of the way. Oh. Yes! yes! Oh. What? He got stabbed in the back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm diagnosing some pretty significant spinal injuries there. <laughs> I yeah. five, that car was my friend. Five and a yes. half minutes to death. Five and a half right. minutes to death. Not bad. Fantastic. I'll take it. All right. That was pretty good, Evan. It's my turn. Uh, set the waypoint back up here. Uh, I think my best advice is get out of the starting area as soon as you can. Like those, okay. na those narrow roads, those walls, cars just bouncing off everything. Here we go. It's, oh. it's bad news bears. Right, no, I'm sorry, the is. timer. Oh, I'm... am I going the right oh way? Oh my god. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah, you want to go north. This, this is, is pretty apocalyptic in here. Uh, I'm just going to run right through it. Oh, you're oh. on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire's bad. Fire's That's an awkward start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're just flailing. It's like I have no friction. Well, you're two thirds oh. dead. Uh, Tyler, wow, making the curious decision to let himself on fire at the outset. <laughs> I don't know, know what's thinking no, there, coach. To, you might want to you might want to try an alley or something, Tyler. No, alleys are good well, unless wait. a car gets in. What if one. you got in that cop car? What if I did? Hit Y, yeah. Oh, oh. 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 And that good. was uh, 40 seconds. Thanks for the advice, Wes. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It didn't really work, did it? This guy seems pretty cavalier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You almost got so. crushed. You almost lost a Tyler there. Oh, that is the wrong way. Yep. Is, it, is it? it though? Is it? 
Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus. Just stay in the diner. Can I go in the diner? You'll, you'll be fine. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I did not expect a car to be the diner. I did not either. I have to say. Oh, god. Oh, oh wow, oh. nice dodge. Yeah. Nice juke. Need some money. Don't even yeah. need a hot dog. Looking good. Oh, that oh. car's coming out of the garage. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. You have no, okay, you have like no health. Oh, I need a hot dog. That explosion just <laughs> Oh, I need a hot dog. <laughs> Give me a hot dog, dude. Get out of the it's way. It's a left bumper. There's a key, Wes. You, can see, you can see there's a key. Get out of the way, lady. Okay. Buy yeah. that hot dog. Come Rot on. Can you rotate? Come on. Oh my no, God. I can't rotate the okay. camera. <laughs> I'm blind. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Where would that truck wasn't even there a second ago. This is a bad spot, Wes. So you're yeah, gonna, I chose a really poor path. You're going to jump down here? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Get over there. Okay. This is like an Ooh. industrial area down here, I think. Ooh. So no getting in cars. Huh? I mean, it's it's. Yeah, it's I don't even want to. I don't even want to touch it. Be, ooh. <laughs> bikes, now, bikes. We said we're bikes. Let's see if there's any physics, physics apply to them. Yeah. Bikes are fine. Feeling good. I'm kind of taking a long path here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do the jump. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> Slammed out of the air right there. I know. Me too. <laughs> Hold on. Oh dear. Oh, look what I see up here. Don't slow down. We're speed up if anything. Whoa. <laughs> Awkward dismount. Man. You look like. Now you really look like you're trying to draw a yellow card. I'm glad I got to keep the helmet though. Now I ran straight into danger. Hey, I rode a motorcycle through hell, okay? I don't want to hear it. Because <laughs> he rips off the helmet. Whereas you gingerly avoided any danger, even ate a hot dog. That's a win. He did it in like, well, what we'll the official time tell the story, but a little under six minutes. All right. Well done. Not bad. How are you feeling, Tim? You ready? Still, yeah, I'm off. Have you, do you feel like you've learned anything from, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Feel, what a good start for Tim. I feel that's suboptimal. <laughs> oh this place going. Run, Tim, run. Those people, right. those. Oh, oh God. not like this. Alright. Oh, oh, that's no. a bad alley. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no, get no, out of there. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a trap. That car's on it's fire. a terrible trap. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> no, I feel like we should let Tim have another go on that one. Wait You're a minute. Rob. <laughs> Tim gets no, another like go after... I think Tim, yeah, Tim should get another go. That was, that was just unlucky, though. That was more, more skill-related, let's be honest. After Wes go. goes, try that car, and I go, okay. <laughs> just, let's, I'll be a good sport. Let's pick it up from the hospital. I want to see more. He's like halfway there. It's a good handicap. Yeah, I think you guys are playing favorites here, clearly. That's fine. Give me that vodka. Hang on, let's have a look at the map. Gonna right, see so over here. I feel like you can either jump over the highway, which is the more direct but perhaps more dangerous route. Jump over the highway. Or like climb over it. You know, like Some serious crawl, jump. Cross the freeway. And like walk up one of those ramps, or you can just go under it. I think the more field of vision you've got, the better. Yeah. Says so the man who just walked into an alleyway full of four <laughs> burning cars. It is definitely good to be able to at least attempt to dodge them. This is a good neighborhood. It's largely affected by flying, unaffected by flying car fatalities. <laughs> Everybody looks happy. Definitely moved there. Oh. <laughs> that that's, that's how they get you. You think, you think you're fine? Naive? Ooh. Okay. You lucked out there. It's kind of heating up around here. I think you're getting close. Ooh, Ooh yeah. You're, you're real close. I'm right now. Gonna take a real Hail Mary card to be, um, kill you now. There'll be a star next to my time though, like a Barry Bond style. <laughs> Never be recognized properly by the fans. Just keep All running, right. keep running. Yeah. Nice. Well done. Victory. Excellent. So good job everybody but Tyler. Well done. Yes, Benlin. It's a good <laughs> good challenge. I enjoyed it. Cool. Alright, with that I think we've uh, properly broken in our new computer. Yeah. So should we go help Corey? I guess. Or we could.
play more games. Yeah. Right. I need another chance. That's good. All right. Do it. You guys suck.